time for 96.7 Yes FM Entertainment News. Okay, apparently, this is all coming out now, but back in April, Mel Gibson actually spent a week in the hospital because Mel had COVID-19. He did. His, uh, a manager just announced that he tested positive back then and was in the hospital for a week. He's 64 years old. They said he was treated right. with the drug Remdesivir. I'm uh-huh. probably saying that wrong. And has since tested negative several times. Mm-hmm. But uh, he's just one of a kind of a laundry list of some yeah. people with celebrity status who have uh, been vocal about testing positive, including Tony Shalhoub, uh, Leslie Stahl, Pink, as you might have remembered, Prince Charles, Daniel Day Kim, Debbie Mazar, Andy Cohen, mm-hmm. and Idris Elba, just to name right. a few. So yeah. it's, uh, it's affecting everybody. It's not um, just us regular people. Imagine not being able to see your boyfriend. You're at 133 days apart because you're in different countries and because of coronavirus, you can't get together at all. It sounds like a lot of people we know between Canada and the U.S. I know we have a lot of friends, boyfriends, family members who have not been able to cross over because they don't have dual citizen status or essential. Well, apparently Courtney Cox, remember her from Friends and Scream and other Mm -hmm. things? Mm -hmm. Her boyfriend, Johnny McDade, uh, who's in Snow Patrol. Yeah, they have not seen each other in yeah. 133 days yeah. because they're both quarantining in separate countries. Right. So she basically uh, tweeted and social media had happy birthday to him because they won't be together to celebrate his birthday. So, right. again, celebrities yeah. are dealing with what us real people are dealing with. Yeah. So so dating becomes virtual. Yes. That's a lot, a lot of FaceTime and Zoom. Pretty much.